Hello kids, welcome to StoryPad. Today we got a story called Fireman Sam. Read a lot. Are you guys ready? Let's begin. One summer day, station officer Steele was talking to his crew. Fireman Sam, Elvis Krill Cridlington and Penny Morris were all on duty at Ponty Pandy Fire Station. This hot summer has left us with a big problem, Station Officer Steele began. Yes, smiled Elvis Cridlington. Diley's <coughs> shop has sold out of ice lollies. Not that, Cridlington said Steele, pointing to a drawing on a back blackboard. The grass around the Ponty Pandy is as dry as a desert. That means it's easy for a fire to start said fireman sam that's right sam replied steel it's very serious i want you on a red alert norman price and mandy flood were out walking along the footpaths of ponty pandy mountain they were looking for a wool woolly norman's pet sheep core it ain't half hot said Norman, too warm for Wooly to decide to go walk about. Let's stop for a rest, said Mandy. Okay, said Norman. Tracking Wooly is a thirsty work. Norman took a bottle out of his rucksack and began to gulp down the fizzy pop inside. Burp! He went. When he had finished drinking, Norman giggled Mandy. Oops, sorry, said Norman. Did you want a drink too? No thanks, smiled Mandy. Come on, let's go and find Wooly. Follow me, said Mandy. I think I heard Wooly's bleating over this way. Norman ran to catch her up. He didn't notice when the empty pop bottle fell out of his rucksack and landed near a patch of very dry grass. The hot sun began to shine on a glass bottle and before long a spark appeared setting the grass on fire. Dilly's Price and Trevor Evans were enjoying a day outdoors to bird watching. They were sitting very quietly in a special, special hut so the birds wouldn't know they were there. I've seen lots of different types of birds here, said Trevor. As Wooly wandered when the wander passed, but I didn't know we were sheep watching too. Bah, went Wooly. That's funny, said Trevor. Wherever Wooly goes, Norman is sure to follow. Give me those binoculars, said Dillys. Dillys peered through the binoculars. I can't see a thing, she said. You go, you go them the wrong way around. Trevor laughed. Dillys took another look and sure enough, Norman soon appeared with Mandy. Norman Price shrieked Dillys. What are you up to now? Oh dear, we came here for a bit of peace and quiet, Trevor muttered to himself. Hi ma'am, Norman shouted when he saw his mum in the hut. We didn't know you were hiding in there. Shh, you are frightening the birds away, said Trevor. Sorry, Trevor, called Norman. Sorry ma'am, he he he, giggled Mandy. Come on. Wooly must be somewhere around here, said Norman. He went that way, far away, Trevor shouted after them. Norman and Mandy walked this way and that, but Wooly was nowhere to be seen. Oh no, said Norman. After a while, we walked in a great big circle. Mandy sniffed the air. Hey Norman, can you smell something? She said. Something is burning, shouted Norman. They looked over the wall and saw smoke, flames in the dry grass. 
The fire started by Norman's empty pop bottles were spreading towards the hut. Look, said Mandy, pointing Trevor and Dillis ran clear of the hut as it collapsed behind them in a heap. Just in time, spluttered Ter Trevor. Norman knew what to do. Quick, to the phone box, we've got to get help. At Ponty Pandy Fire Station, Fireman Sam picked up this emergency message. Action stations, everyone. There is a fire by the birds watching hurt, he said. In seconds, Flag Jupiter was heading out of the fire station with Sam, Elvis and Penny in the cab. Jupiter's blue lights were flashing and her siren was wailing. Nino, Nino, Nino. They had almost reached the fire when suddenly there was a loud bang and Jupiter screeched to a halt. A sharp rock in the mountain road had punctured one of the Jupiter's tires. Fireman Sam was cool and calm. Elvis Penny, you've changed the wheel, he said. I'll radio for Tom to come with his rescue helicopter. Right on, Sam said. Elvis. When Fireman Sam and crew didn't arrive, Norman and Mandy began to worry. Where are they? asked Norman. The fire is spreading. Just then they heard the sound of Tom Thomas Mountain Rescue Helicopter buzzing in the sky above them. Norman and Mandy ran near to the fire. Over here, Tom, they shouted, waving their arms. When Tom was in position above the fire, he pulled on a lever. Suddenly, a chute in the rescue helicopter opened and special red water splashed out like a waterfall. The fire went out at once, but poor Norman was standing too close and got soaked by the red water. Ugh, Tom, I went through, he moaned. He he he, chuckled Mon Mandy from behind a tree. You look like you've been swimming. You've been swimming in a tomato soup. Moments later, Fireman Sam and crew arrived. They checked that the fire was out and began to clear away the burnt wood and a gloss <clears throat> glass bottle. All safe and sound again, said Sam. Oh dear, said Trevor, looking at what was left of the hut. I don't think we will be doing any more bird watching for a while. It was, it was Norman's pop bottle that caused the fire, Fireman Sam explained. It's lucky you arrived so quickly to put it out with your special red water, Penny told Tom. She looked at Norman and tried not to laugh. He was soaked in red liquid from head to toe and looked very sorry for himself. Have you learned anything? Tom asked Norman. I'll be really careful not to leave the glass bottles lying around in the sun. Next time, said Norman, it could start a fire. And I've learned that you can put out a fire with tomato soup, laughed Mandy. It's lucky we were on a red alert, Fireman Sam chuckled. That's a nice fire execution. <clears throat> the bear made a nice evacuation as well. So, being stay safe, can you remember what to do if fire breaks out? Get out. Get the fire brigade out and stay out from the fire. Sam's safety tips. Never play with matches or lighters. If you smell smoke or see fire, tell a grown-up. Don't play near hot ovens or boiling pots and pans. Keep toys and clothes away from fires and heaters. Ask a grown-up to fit a smoke alarm in your house and test it regularly. Do you understand now? 
the safety tips if whenever the fire breaks out hope you learn like the story and thanks for watching and listening and i hope you will stay safe from fire bye and i'll see you in the next video